okay, so one E is missing. Okay, we agreed with the license agreement. Next question. And the drive we have uh, allocated 20 GB is here. So let's click on it and next. So now let's give shift F10. Yeah. So now I will type notepad. It's not coming for some reason. It was coming before. So this screen will come. I will try the notepad after uh, it comes to expanding files in Windows. Oh, yeah. There you go. We have the notepad now. See, we are using the notepad. And if I give open here. See, it's uh, giving us this interface. <laughs> and we could just see how much the installation is completed here. So let's cancel it. And we can even type in this notepad. So we don't need that. Let's close it. Don't save. Okay, so it's expanding the files. I will see you after this whole installation is completed. So finally, it came to the screen where we should type the computer's name. So actually, it took about a half an hour to complete that whole process and set it up to this stage. So I wasn't recording anything because it would occupy a lot of space in the computer if I did record it. And, uh, and I was not even in the computer. I actually, I actually was watching TV when it was installing because it was so boring to watch the same screen again and again. So I will enter the PC's name. So, so let's install. Means let's uh, name it Windows Seven. Can we try renaming this? Okay, we can't. So let's give next. Type the password, okay? Let's type uh, 7. Retype the password 7. Password hint a dash. And let's give next. Let's skip it. Ask me later. Date and time. Next. Home network. <sighs> How long should I wait? Okay. We have Windows on Ultimate here. Windows is uh, finalizing your settings. Superb. Watch that. Okay, we are inside the desktop. Oh my god. It took about 45 minutes to come in the stage. So, if I did everything right, oh yeah, it says uh, preparing your desktop. Yes. Superb, that's a very good news, by the way. Let it prepare the desktop. And hopefully, it will take us inside the desktop. Okay. And I think that it rebooted around three times in this whole process. So let's take a snapshot. Let's take a snapshot of this. 
view on a thing input and all. Where is that? Oh, take a snapshot. Yes, snapshot one. Okay. Oh! Saving the machine state. Nine seconds remaining. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, I don't want that. What's that? Let's ignore it. So yeah, we are finally inside the desktop. For now, let's run it as let's run it as the guest. So device insert guest guest CD image, and hopefully we should have guest support in this now. So yeah, we have it. Let's go inside this folder and to have guest support we should install this thing here. Yes, I want to run it. So like this we could get guest permission to run it in full screen. So yeah, we have got the setup wizard. Next, install. This would take a bit of time though, so I will uh, see you afterwards. Okay, so the guest edition is finished. So let's give finish to restart the computer. Not my main computer, but this virtual machine. So it's restarting. And when it restarts and comes back again, we should hopefully see the screen in a full screen. <sighs> I think I should have given it 2 GB of RAM. So it's booting up. Please give that start Windows T screen, starting Windows screen. Oh yeah, Microsoft Corporation, starting Windows, and now we should see four dots. Wait a second. How could I get in? Uh, how could I... Okay. How the mouse came here? Why is it slow, slow? Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay. I think I have a little less RAM for this virtual machine. Hmm. So let it boot. And then we should see the password or the user screen. Okay. And now it should turn into a full screen. not full screen. Okay, the password is 7. Why 
is it taking this long? Yes! 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 It's coming on full screen. Can you see it? Super. So let's shut down this virtual machine. Oh no, I'm not going to shut down it from the start, but then it's going to take a very long time. Let's just give power of virtual machine. And yeah, let's stop the screen recording also. And thanks for watching this video. That's all for this video. The same steps are required to install Windows 8, 8.1 or some other thing. You could even install Linux with this. So anything is possible with this virtual machine.